What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shota Sprung, and today I got my boy Peace here with me. What's up, what's up? So, in today's video, we're going to be showing you the most futuristic convenience store in Tokyo, Japan. So, let's get it. So, we are in Takanawa Gateway. We've actually made a video for this train station before, but when we came last time, it was so brand new that the convenience store wasn't even open yet. But this convenience store this time, it's, it's actually open today. Well, it's been open for a while, but now we're back so we can make a review about the convenience store. And actually really cool because Tokyo is really pushing towards the AI world. So a lot of stores recently, like the newer ones, are a lot of AI based, like the sushi store that I went with Danny. And like this train station too, there's robots cleaning digitally, you know, like automatic just clean the whole train station at nighttime when everybody leaves. So we're here. We're back so we can shoot the convenience store. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is the convenience store right behind me. Nobody's inside. No workers either. So there's no cashier register. Nobody. So it looks super modern. Let's go check it out. Dog. Super modern. You see that? Yeah. Opened up. I mean, the snacks that they have in here aren't even like normal snacks you usually find in like normal convenience stores, to be honest. <laughs> they got Biscoff. These are my favorite. You cookies. like Biscoff? Yes, these are my favorite. You know how they work this, right? Like, yeah. how they can like run this store with no workers. Okay, so as you guys can see in the store, there's over 50 3D cameras in the store. That's crazy. That's 50? crazy. In 50. This, it's not even a big store. Yeah, it's not even a big store. Oh my God. Yeah, you and they have over it. 50 cameras in the store to see your movement and what you're carrying and stuff. And if you guys go to like uh like this section right here like obviously this is the alcohol but like drink and stuff they have a scale under the product so that each product have their own weight to it they can actually collect the data of why you're yeah. carrying it so they're literally tracking every single movement of you in the store mm -hmm. that's that's wild. crazy so yeah no privacy definitely cannot steal because even if you hide from the cameras they'll catch you with the scale like they the weight catch you with the scale, yeah. yeah so do they know when you put an item back they also know when you put it back. they also know when you put it so they track back. all that so even if they catch you like they take you get in the product they also record you putting it back so they know that you don't have the product mm -hmm. anymore every single move yo that's crazy that's and crazy. you cannot use any cash yeah it's yeah all digital payment only digital payment or credit card so yeah. if you have a suica which we did a video about it so if you have a suica or if you have like a credit card you can use it but you cannot use a cash so just notice that So in Japan, it is a big problem when it comes to convenience store. Since it's 24 hours, 365 days, 24 hours open, there's so many problems going on with the workers in Japan. Yeah. So much stress overworking and stuff. So this is actually a really important project in Japan. They're probably gonna start like doing more stuff like this. And yeah. this was the first station that they're trying to get out. Yeah. So that's like really cool. That's really cool. 12 seconds later. Okay, so we're about to buy a beverage and a little snack. Let's go to the register. Yo, they already. That's not right though. So okay, so they already know what you're kind, you what you're getting. So they got this one right, but they didn't get this one. I did pick this out earlier. I like picked it up earlier. Mm. So that's probably why they took it. Oh, they also have barcode too. So if you get it wrong, get the barcode. So okay. Now they get it right. Wow. Oh, the Oshu show. Got the receipt. Yep. The gate opens up and you're good to go. They had some mistake, but yeah. but you picked that product. Yeah, but I mean, it was so cool that they knew like what I was getting though. Yeah. But it's because I picked it up earlier and then I put it back. So, I and mean, also we were filming. No, none of average customers going to film. Yeah. So the camera was like, well, what Probably, are you doing? Yeah, yeah, because right? we were picking up a lot of things and then putting it back. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense that like they like messed that up. But it's super easy to fix it too. You just press the, you just press the, Fix button, I guess. Yeah, just fix button. your product or whatever. And if you have a mistake, you just put the barcode on it. Yeah. And you just scan it right there. Beep, yeah. beep. And then you got a two product. Yeah. I think it's really cool. Like a lot of convenience stores are going to be like that in the future. A lot of them are already becoming self uh, checkout at 7 Eleven, Family Mart, and stuff like that. And some of the convenience stores are actually closing at like 2 o'clock oh. for the reason. Like, for oh, really? overworking and stuff yeah i love like modern futuristic stuff yeah that's why i like this train station even though it's a small train station i mean the convenience store is like really cool to go to it's super easy to use so i will highly suggest this train station just a visit if yeah. you come to japan i mean it's a clean train station it's brand new it's just opened this year anyway, but if you yeah. like the video yep. please hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel if you like our content and we'll see you in the next video